Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I'm gonna do a, another canned mackerel review. This is um, King Oscar Royal Fillets. Fillets? Fillet, fillets. I always, I never can remember how to pronounce that. Nobody ever corrects me, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, I've heard it pronounced. I've heard it pronounced more fillets. But I think that might be spelled F I just one L in E T. Fillets. I think I've heard it pronounced that way too. But I don't know if it's the same thing. Anyway. Mackerel, Mediterranean style. Skinless and boneless. Showing a, a, a red, I think it's a bell pepper, and some black olives on there. Does that mean those are in there? Or does it just mean you can serve them with, with those things? <clears throat> King Oscar loved everything about Norway, especially our seafood. That's why in 1902, he gave us the greatest gift, his name. Hmm. Contains 3,000 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids per serving. See back panel for full nutrition facts. North Atlantic mackerel for premium quality, rich in protein, wild caught, mild taste, non-GMO, kosher certified, ready to eat, BPA-NI. <clears throat> Ingredients, skinless and boneless North Atlantic mackerel, olive oil, sliced green and black olives, extra virgin olive oil, red bell pepper, herbs of Province spices in parentheses, parentheses, salt, garlic, distributed by Triunion Seafoods LLC El Segundo, California. Product of Poland. <coughs> okay, I'm hungry. Um, kind of getting a late lunch today. So been pretty busy no mess easy peel lid I like that easy peel there it goes oh. Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> Here. Ah. Oh, wow. Does that smell good? You get the olive oil, you get the mackerel, you get some garlic, you get the black olives. There's some spices in there, too. Wow, that smells really good. Let me show you guys. Okay, well, I meant to get some, uh, I meant to get some, some more of that rice, the jasmine rice, and I just haven't got around to it, so <clears throat> I don't have any. I'm just going to use my Capiccio's crackers, also what Guar Gum sent me. Let's just set the can on this paper plate here. <clears throat> I just want to get just get a bite of this, just like this. Well, that olive oil just looks like a really nice quality olive oil. That's a little tougher, a little tougher meat on that mackerel. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm missing the, <clears throat> that's a green olive in there too. Did it say green olives and black olives? Huh, I have to 
a look at that again. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's really good. Mm-hmm, that's a green olive. i got to see this. Olive oil, okay, sliced. Green and black olives. Okay, I don't know if I even read that. That's good. That was a good olive. Okay, let's get a Capiccio's cracker out. Man, is that good? Just has a nice quality. Just, just so many flavors going on in there. Just a very <clears throat> classy canned fish product. Pretty good amount of black olives in there. It's, it's giving me a hard time just getting this thing up here. There we go. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. It is salty. You get that garlic. It almost tastes like there's a little pesto in there, but I don't I didn't say pesto, but it said spices. I think pesto may be a spice, but I'm not totally sure about that. Red bell pepper herbs of province spices. Herbs of Province. I think I've seen that before somewhere else. But I can't say that I know what it is. <clears throat> I don't know... If, you know, I can't remember if I already did this or not, but with all this olive oil in there, I don't know if this hot sauce would be good with the olive oil. I don't know if that would mix right. I can't. Mm. Wow. It just makes me say, wow, every time I take a bite of this stuff. There's just so many flavors in this. This really would have been good with some rice. I probably should have just waited and not reviewed this yet. Hmm. I don't know, do you, <clears throat> you guys want me to just try with some hot sauce? I don't know. I just can't remember if I did it with with one with the uh, with the olive oil in it, or if it was just one without the olive oil. It was the Miri, and it had olive oil in it, spiced, spiced olive oil. That was my last one I did. 
Yeah, and I had it with with the hot sauce. So, and it and it tasted good like that. So yeah, okay. That's okay. That'll work. Let's uh, let's let's do that. What what shall we start with? Let's let's start with let's start with the Calypso hot sauce. Very vin this one's very vinegary, and that curry you you do get the curry in there. <clears throat> that could be what I'm getting is the curry, not vinegar. Wow. Let's try it. Let's just try it. I don't want somebody later saying, Jerry, you should have tried it with the Calypso. The Calypso one. What's wrong with you? See it there. Okay, let's try it out. It was okay. It was all right. Um, it's it's. It didn't quite pair like a hundred percent, but they were. It was definitely edible. So that's something. All right, let's get another bite ready. <clears throat> Just to let you know, this and the Nuri, the Nuri one too, is way, way good of a quality canned fish that you don't need any sauce on it. It's really good just like it is. All right, let's do the next one. The... Triple X, hell hot pepper, pepper sauce. You'd think this would be the hottest one, don't you? Wouldn't you? You would think it'd be the hottest one. But no, it's the one with the cute little puppy on it. It's the butterlicious one that almost scolds your mouth. There it comes. Ooh. It's not as hot as the butter licious, but licious, but you gotta still be careful with this. Okay, let's see how this one goes.
This one's sweeter, sweeter than, well, <clears throat> they both have like a sweetness, but they're both different, different in sweetness ways. That one paired pretty nicely with it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. All righty. Get over here. Here we go. Any, any cute? Wait a minute, that's not, that's not a puppy. He kind of looks like a puppy. He's actually looks like a. I think he's a full grown dog named Butter. But <clears throat> Guar Gum's uh, sister in law, which works for the man that made this sauce, um, he takes his employees. Um, pets the names of their of the employees pets and names his hot sauces after you know particular sauces that he makes so this is the pineapple bomb hot sauce what what don't say bomb on youtube oh excuse me forget that i said that I mean, it just smells hot. Whoa, easy there. Either easy there, fella. Gotta try to control the the outage of it. You know, it comes out a little. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Here we go. That went really good with it. Here it comes. <clears throat> Using the sauce with food is a lot better experience with rather than taking a spoonful of it at the beginning like I originally did when I reviewed the sauce. Um, Wargum was like, oh God, Jerry. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a mistake. Yeah, it was uh it was hotter that way, you know, it was a straight sauce, man. It was like <laughs> just like taking a shot of it. You know? But <clears throat> the bite's getting me, but it's not as bad as what as what I uh, I anticipated it was gonna be. So there's been times that I've eaten it with, with some of this and it's got me pretty good, but um yeah, this, it, I think this this one paired probably the best. I can't remember which one I picked in the last time, but <clears throat> this one tastes the best with them. Um, the, the heat's it's it's like finding little little areas, you know, to get me. Almost twenty minutes, really? I've been I've been doing this for that long already. 
Look at that big old chunk right there. Wow. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Very good. Okay. King Oscar mackerel Mediterranean style boneless and skinless. Skinless and bone boneless. And this had red bell peppers and green and black olives in it. <clears throat> Very, very good. Very, very good fish product. Well, thank you again, Guar Gum, for sending me these. I really enjoyed getting to review all these different fish products. Wow, just so many, I don't know, I'll keep saying it, so many flavors in there. And <clears throat> Gorgon mentioned a lot of these really, really good high quality ones. He saves for special occasions to eat them on special occasions. And some of these are really expensive. Like he said, the Nuri ones are four to five dollars a can. So... That is a pricey one just to eat every day. Unless, I mean, you go out to eat for lunch somewhere. Usually you don't get, get by with paying any less than 7 to $8 for a lunch a lot of times. So you get one of these, take every day. Let's just say they're $5 right there. A bottle of water. You have some crackers that you use all the time. So really when you think about it, you almost saving money just to eat one of the nuries every day for lunch the rice is pretty cheap i mean the the uh, jasmine rice is really really good but you don't have to use that you can just get a bag of um cheaper excuse me cheaper rice a bag of rice and depending on where you are where you're eating it you can prepare it on the stove on the stove you know cook it uh, steam it or whatever <clears throat> and uh, rice will keep I mean you just for for a little little bit not too long but a couple couple days maybe so be cheaper to eat eat one of these and it's better for you than a, a burger or something you know which I'm a big burger fan and uh, but I enjoy this stuff too Okay, I'm going to end here. Apologize for the video being so long. I, I don't know how that happens. I don't. It just does. It depends on what I'm doing. But um, don't fast forward. Even if my videos are 30 to 45 minutes, don't, don't fast forward. You, you could miss something. You don't know what's going to happen, right? So, I mean, a flock of birds could fly, you know, fly in front of me in my office how did they get there we don't know but you didn't see it because you were fast forward and all you saw was like a blur and you're like something's wrong with this video i don't understand what that was you know but you missed it and you see comments hey jerry what kind of birds were those that flew in front of you just a little bit ago <laughs> they're like birds what well, when did that happen oh i fast forwarded to it <laughs> uh, i'm sorry it's friday I don't know if this will get uploaded today or not, but when I re reviewed this, this Friday. So, okay. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Guargum, for sending me these. We'll see you on the next one.